What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. Here is an exciting information for you guys. The brand new Samsung Calendar application from One UI 7 is now available to download on your Galaxy phones running on One UI 6.1 or 6.1.1 or any other previous versions. Yes, we can download this application now from APK Mirror. If you are interested in downloading this brand new application, I will leave a link for you guys in the description. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what has exactly changed on the brand new Calendar application. But before we go ahead, if you're interested in these wallpapers here you're seeing the ice age wallpaper i have left a link for that in the description this beautiful looking orange and pink wallpaper is also available in the description i had posted this some time ago in one of my previous videos as well and these widgets here you have been asking me about these widgets in every video that i post this widget is from frizzy kwgt pack and this is from one ui uh, kwgt pack both these are from premium packs and before buying these you need to make sure you have the pro kwgt key as well which is nothing but the kwgt pro application has to be installed and then you can uh, install or set them up on your home screen anyways now let's go ahead on the S23 Ultra, I have installed the APK already. In fact, I have installed the clock APK also some time back and I showed you what has changed on the clock application. This clock is from One UI 7 and this calendar application you can see here, it comes with a brand new icon and this is from One UI 7. And this one here you are seeing on the S24 Ultra is from the One UI 6.1, which has the old icon right here. Now let me go ahead and open the applications here. You can see there is a small change here on the new app, this portion is kind of grayish. Uh, let me just brighten this up a bit. Okay, uh, you can see now this is a little grayish and this is in completely dark background. I'm not sure whether Samsung is going to retain this grayish color or we are going to get the black background. Let's wait and see that on the official version. But now you can see on this, we have got this grayish background here. I'm not very sure if the camera is doing the justice here. Uh, it is kind of grayish here. And then you can see on the current day, if you're creating an event, you will also be able to see the current weather conditions here, as you can see. And here you can see the current date and day information in, is in bold font. And on the previous version, or let's say the current version, we have it in a very, very tiny font here, which is not even properly visible. So this is a welcome change. And here we have got the event information right below the weather information. And again, here we have the same, but the font seems to be slightly different on the newer version. Now we have got this plus button here, you see, I'll just press and hold on this. It says add detailed event. And when I press and hold on this one here, we get two options, reminder and event. Now, reminder was recently integrated into the calendar application by Samsung, and uh, that is available on the current uh, version. Also, we do have reminder integration, but now when you're creating an event, you can just press and hold on this plus button and create the reminder right from here, and you can also create an event. So we get both the options now, whereas on the current version, to create a reminder, we will have to go to the uh, hamburger menu here and tap on reminders. This is when you will see this reminder icon, which will appear right here. Tap on this to create a reminder here. So we can create reminders within the uh, application on the older version as well. But on the newer version, when you press and hold on it, we get both the options, which is easy to access the reminder uh, icon right here, instead of going to the hamburger menu and then tapping on reminders and again, tap on this reminder icon to create a reminder. So that's again, a welcome change here on the new version. Now let's look at the next change. I will tap on hamburger menu here again. And when I scroll down, you can see we have got an all new icon for the reminders here. I can just tap on that to expand it. And we have got all the reminders available right here. All the categories that I've created on the reminder application. Let me just open reminder here. You can see these are the categories that I have. My reminders, purple, A, B, uh, category one. You'll be able to see the same categories right here on the calendar as well. And this gets this all new icon right here. So that's another change that we have got on the all new version. Now let's go to these settings here. Let's see if there is any change here. On the top, we've got change calendar style. There is nothing much changed here. It all looks the same. We have got the calendar customization options here. You can change the event colors. You can set it to very bright to uh, get a brighter look on the calendar events. Uh, and then we do have these options here. Highlight short events, let events title wrap, dark mode option. Let me just go back here. Rest of the options are all the same. And uh, let's scroll down. Let's tap on alert background here. Now here again, you can see we have got the brand new gallery icon, whereas on the previous version, we have got the uh, older gallery icon. So this is the gallery icon we are going to see on the One UI 7. 
and then you can see there are some changes in the color options here or the background options for uh, the alerts. In the previous version, we have got these options here. You can see these are uh, kind of subtle colors, whereas here we have got kind of gradient backgrounds now available uh, with a mix of different color combinations on each background here, which is looking pretty nice compared to the uh, older version but this is obviously subjective. You may like the current version or the one which is available on the uh, new One UI 7's calendar application. Now let me just go back here. I'll scroll down. Let's see if there is anything more here, any other changes. Let me tap on labs. You can see Samsung has removed uh, one of the options here. This is uh, hide event recommendations, which is available on the uh, current version. Whereas on the newer application, we do not see this option under calendar lapse. Let me just go back. Let's see if there is anything else here. I don't see any other changes here. Now let's try to create an event and let's see if there is any changes here. Birthday. Uh, let me set the time here, 9 a.m. and I'll tap on OK. Yeah, the event has been created. You can see there are two events right here and I tap on this. Now here, let's see if we have got any changes. We have got the same color options here. Okay, now we have got a change here. You can see we have got a color wheel right here for selecting the color. Earlier we had only about uh, 12 color options to choose from and now we have got this color wheel. Uh, we have got swatches and spectrum. We'll be able to select the color we want or create a combination of colors, which is just amazing. So that's something new here. And let's see if there is anything else. Location, my calendar, attachment. I think that's it. So there is no other changes here. Now let's go ahead and check out the widgets on the new version here. Let me press and hold on the calendar icon and tap on widgets. And let's also open the current version. You can see the countdown widget has been completely revamped. It is in two by two size now and uh, the background is not in a dark or white. It is actually a colorful background with an image in the background. So maybe you'll be able to set an image for that particular birthday on the calendar and that will show up right here. I'm not very sure about this because we are not able to set these widgets on the home screen. If I press and hold and drag it on the home screen, it is not showing the widget. Uh, so this is not a complete application. It is still incomplete. Once we get the stable version uh, on the One UI 7, we'll be able to see what exact or how exactly this works here. Now let's go back here to the widgets. Let's check out the other widgets here. You see, we have got the list widget here and the list widget is over here that says upcoming events and on the current version, it says list. And uh, it is slightly revamped or renewed here. It looks pretty nice. This is in dark background, but yeah, obviously we'll be able to change the background. Uh, but as you can see, uh, the uh, current one has got some shade here for the events here and this background is in dark. Whereas on the newer version, it is completely dark, pitch dark background that we are getting here. And then we have got this today widget here. And uh, on the current version, let's see, yeah, this is the today widget and that has also been changed. You can see this is five by two and this is four by two. Maybe Samsung is trying to align the home screen icons and the other widgets and maybe this widget would perfectly match to that home screen alignment. Uh, that is the reason they would have changed the sizes here. I'm not very sure because this is still in the works. This application is just the APK and uh, we cannot say that this is the final version. So on One UI 7, uh, the dimensions or the widgets could change, but this is what we can see now. At least we are getting a glimpse of what we are going to get. You can see the next widget is this large one, the month widget. And again, here there is some change. The dimension is different. It's four by four and it's five by six here. And the font here is also bigger on the top and here it's smaller. So there are some changes when it comes to the widgets as well. So this is the all new calendar application from One UI 7 for you guys. Let me know what do you think? Do you think Samsung should have done better and added more features on the new calendar application? Drop a comment and let me know. And if you're interested in downloading this application, you can go ahead and click the link in the description. That will take you to APK Mirror. Uh, from where you will be able to download this. All you need to do is just update the application and you are good to go. You'll be able to use these new features on the calendar app. That's about it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. You will be learning a lot about your Galaxy phones, Android phones, or anything related to tech. And if you missed out on my video on the Galaxy Watch update, we now have the One UI 6 watch available for the Galaxy Watch 6 series. I have already posted a detailed video about it. Go ahead and check that out on the channel. That's about it. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.